Roger Penske and IndyCar are likely, probably, going to make one of the dumbest decisions possible. Welcome back to Break Hard. My name is Matt. I am not an 87-year-old billionaire who owns a motorsport series. I would look great for my age if I was. I am, however, smart enough to know that IndyCar and Roger Penske are probably, likely, going to make one of the dumbest decisions that they possibly could. So in this week's Racer.com mailbag, Marshall Pruitt talks about IndyCar's next television contract, which starts in 2025 and beyond. And he said that the sources within IndyCar have told him that NBC has offered IndyCar the opportunity to put all races on network NBC. A massive win for IndyCar. I mean, the Indianapolis 500 peaked at like six and a half million viewers on NBC. This past weekend at the Detroit Grand Prix on USA, 680,000 people tuned in. And if you're doing the math at home on your fingers and you're trying to divide, it's bad. It's really bad, actually. So the opportunity to put all your races on network and avoid USA like the plague is absolutely incredible. But according to Rod, or Marshall, Roger wants to keep fishing the pond for a better deal. And then Marshall goes on to say that the prevailing thought leaving Detroit this weekend is to get your DVRs ready to record Fox, Fox Sports 1, and Fox Sports 2. An absolutely brutal decision if that's the direction that IndyCar goes. And don't get me wrong, great people work over at Fox. They, of course, are losing uh, a few races off the NASCAR calendar next year, including the Coke 600. Their season will end a little bit sooner than it currently does, which does free up the Indianapolis 500 for Fox to carry on, hopefully, Network Fox. But I don't think anybody actually wants Fox to get the IndyCar contract. Just from a number of decisions that Fox executives, you know, the ones above the people in the production trailer, continue to make for the direction of NASCAR broadcast. Fox has a ton of influence over the NASCAR schedule as well and some of the decisions that NASCAR makes, and that's unfortunate. Does that mean that the playoffs are going to come to IndyCar? God, I hope not, but at this point, I don't think anything's off the table. And I don't want to see Joseph Newgarden as a comic book cartoon on the broadcast with a 12-pack and absolutely chiseled jaw looking like Captain America out there. No, no, absolutely not. I do not want that whatsoever. So any car going to Fox would be absolutely devastating because some of those races are going to end up on Fox Sports 2. I don't know if you know this, Fox Sports 2, it's a difficult channel to find. It, um, Yeah, you got to really scroll for it. The old Fuel TV, if anybody remembers that from back in the day. Yeah, that's a brutal place to have to put in any car race. Nobody will watch it. You think 600,000 viewers is bad on USA? We're going to be talking about 100, 120,000 viewers, maybe, on FS2. So why is Roger even considering this? Well, it's because Fox would pay out more on an average annual basis than NBC would. And honestly, that's short-term thinking for long-term failure, in a sense, where the NBC is, you know, setting you up for long-term success, but you're not necessarily getting that, you know, instant influx of cash like you would be with the Fox side of things. So I, Roger Penske has made a billion dollars. I have not made a billion dollars. So maybe he knows something we don't. However, every decision that Penske Entertainment has made with IndyCar has been increasingly dumber at this point. Yes, Roger Penske saved IndyCar during the pandemic. 100% agree with that. Since then, boom, Hindenburg. Just absolutely no good whatsoever. The Indy 500 continues to be a massive success. Everything outside of that, stinks they just haven't done a good job with it whatsoever so if fox does get the indycar broadcast that would mean that more than likely adam alexander would be the leading voice of indycar on fox listen adam's fine he's not lee diffie but he would do in a pinch if you really had to make a decision here uh, obviously i don't want to see any of those people over at fox lose their jobs because of losing part of the you know nascar contract but at the end of the day, if they want to call races remotely like they do with the truck series at times, I I just, I can't. I, I, that's the downfall of IndyCar. IndyCar is already struggling, right, to try to compete with Formula One and with, you know, NASCAR in the United States. Going into a situation like that where you're putting your races on a channel that nobody's going to watch, even FS1 is going to be a difficult sell for it, right? I mean, when races are on Fox, they typically draw right around 4 million viewers on Network Fox. When they move over to FS1, 
you're looking between two, two and a half million viewers, 2.6, somewhere in there. So you're talking about a one to 1.5 million person drop off in viewership. IndyCar doesn't even get one and a half million viewers most weekends. So yeah, it's a major, major drop off for a series that has one of the best on-track products in the entire world right now. A compelling championship, really great drivers with great personalities, fantastic teams, a decent selection of racetracks, more than likely. D Detroit notwithstanding. It's a championship that should be viewed by everybody that likes motorsports. And instead, they do a terrible job promoting it. Like with the Detroit Grand Prix this past weekend. They could have promoted that incessantly during the Indianapolis 500 to be like, you like what you're seeing this week? Come watch us on the streets of Detroit next week in literally seven days time. And instead, they waited until Wednesday after the Indianapolis 500 to promote Detroit, finally. Either don't have Detroit the next weekend or start promoting it a lot earlier because obviously we saw the fall off was massive. There's no reason IndyCar should not have been able to attract a million viewers to take from what they had. That's less than 20%. Like, what are we even doing here at this point? So, yeah. Yeah. It's really frustrating that they aren't able to capitalize on things. And now we're maybe going to have them go and, you know, start a deal with Fox. And I just don't think that's the right decision. So let me know in the comments what you think. Like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on TikTok at Break Hard, Instagram and Twitter at Break Hard Blog.